Hey guys, how are you today? All right, I've been sitting here doing some more swatches in my um, inspiration books, and that's what these are from. And I also was packing Etsy orders and that sort of thing. I've got some cardboard here from some boxes I had and or that I used um, as part of you know shipping for the Etsy shop. And I just had an idea. Do I know for sure it's gonna work? No. <laughs> We're gonna try anyways. Um, I probably wanna get semi-straight cuts on this. I thought maybe this extra cardboard here could be cut into something that we could make sort of a DIY mark making stamp. Let me get a straight edge and a sharp knife. I'll be right back. Okay, so we just have ordinary packaging cardboard. This is from a pr priority mailbox that I had. The first thing I want to do is I want one edge of this to be as straight as possible. So I have a mini cutting mat, a metal ruler, and a, um, a box cutter. And this is by We Are Memory Keepers. I'm going to draw an arrow like that for the edge that's straight. Because that's going to be important. Take all precautions when you're using a knife like this. Keep your fingers out of the way. This is not something that should be done with kids. Or you shouldn't let your kids do this on their own. You should do this part for them. I have two or three big baskets of DIY mark making tools. I love my um, mark making tools that I've made. I like, you know, other mark making tools. I mean, I do have my own um, sorry, somebody is trying to message me over Facebook about um, garbage. But anyways, um, I, I have my own line of stamps and stencils and I love them, but I also love just making my own mark making tools. This should be pretty straight already because this is from the edge of the box. So it should be factory cut and pretty straight. So we're gonna go with that. What I'm gonna do is cut these parts off. Again, it's good to put arrows. All right, that's probably plenty of cardboard. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take some tacky glue and some of these extra pieces, don't, get, don't throw these away, we're gonna use those. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, cut these, let's take some, uh, glue, put some glue on here, glue these together, I'm going to glue at least two together, gonna make sure that edge is straight, and I'm going to do two and two, And I'm gonna do all of these into two and two until I run out of pieces and I'll be right back. Okay, one of the things about being on YouTube, you have to block people a lot. Anyway, um, so we've got our bigger pieces here with the straight edge marked with an arrow and then I took the rest of the scraps of cardboard and I glued two of them together also. Um, we're gonna sandwich Um, one, one of these littler pieces like up towards the 
non-straight edge of the bigger piece like that. Then we're going to put some more glue. Then we'll put another one. And put it on the table so all those edges line up. And then another one, making a cardboard sandwich. More glue. I'm going to have to use a coupon soon to get some more tacky glue. So you want to keep doing that until you start to have something that looks like that. And um, once you get all your pieces sandwiched together and straight, I recommend putting something heavy on top of it while the tacky glue dries. Um, keeping all those straight edges as even with each other as possible is sort of key. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, while it's not completely dry yet, it is working. And it's just a nice little stamp that makes an interesting series of lines. And you get some of the texture from the cardboard. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to let it dry completely. And then of course I'll be playing with it some more, using it on painting papers, journal pages, whatever. I mean this is just scrap cardboard so it and a little bit of glue. So if it didn't work out, it didn't cost me anything. So what do you have laying around your house or your art room that you could refashion into something that makes a mark making tool? Think about it. Give it a try. <sighs> I think you might find something uh, really interesting that you really love. I've got baskets full of these. I love them. They're my favorite things. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. I'd love to see you start a conversation about this over in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. What are your favorite mark making tools? Leave a comment in the description below or start a conversation over in the Facebook group or something. Um, all of my relevant social media links, my Etsy store and everything is in the video description along with my happy mail address, so check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Find some interesting homemade mark making tools and let's see what kind of fun stuff we can make. That's it for today. See you later. Bye guys.